I'm Crystal with BodyLine.com. I'm here with Monica Brandt. Obviously, we probably don't need to introduce her because <laughs> she's very famous. But um, anyways, I hear you are doing a new fem camp, and it'd be kind of fun to learn more about it because I just heard about it myself. So, Well, the fem camps have been around a couple of years now, getting going with some different states. We're doing them in Texas now, my home state now, um, Austin, Texas. Uh, fem actually stands for fun, educational, and motivational, so it's F-E-M. And you can learn about it from um, my website, monicabrant.com. But I'm actually putting a FemCamp uh, website now. It'll be FemCamp, uh, femcamp.net. So I'm uh, putting that together now. But basically, it's three-day ladies' camps. We do um, three training sessions in the gym. We target all the major muscle groups. We try to bring in new, different types of exercises that maybe the women haven't seen or haven't learned about, and so they can really go home with some good new exercises. Um, we have an outdoor training usually if the weather is nice, otherwise we do some plyometric stuff in the aerobic room. We have two stage presentation classes, which is really important if women want to um, either compete or just learn how to walk better in heels. So it's fun to have a big group of 30-cent 30, 30 women all walking in heels. Everyone feels like, you know, they feel a practice without feeling, you know, like they're by themselves doing it. And fall down in front of each other. Yep, yep. So, um... We have two of those in the second stage presentation class. We actually bring in an IFBB NPC judge. You know, it could be IFBB or NPC or both. So we bring the judges in so the girls can get critiqued with the real judges and they can ask questions about competing. Um, we have Jan Tana comes in. We have uh, Burns uh, Bedard who owns Passion Fruits. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Fashion Fruit Designs, which is a competition suits. Um, we bring in Kim Odo, who does a very intense nutrition um, consulta- nutrition seminar excuse me, for the girls, and he's also there throughout the camp. And then on Sunday, he does consultations with women that want to sign up with him and work with him one-on-one. Um, he's been my nutritionist for the last, uh, gosh, four years now, since I've been competing in pro figure. Um, and we also do, on Sundays, we do a photo shoot for all the women who get to shoot with the real photographer, with the real backdrop, the lights and fans, everything going. Um, and they have, uh, they get to shoot with two different outfits, so they actually see what it's like to be in a real photo shoot. They go home with a CD with up to 120 uh, photographs sometimes, depending on how many they actually shoot while they're shooting. Um, they go home with a CD that they can use pictures on their own websites or promotional material. I help them, uh, coach them along the whole way while they're shooting. So it's a lot of fun. It's a fun. very packed weekend. Um, Is it overnight camp? Three days. Are you thinking so, yep. slumber party? It's like every guy's doing right now. Monica Brands at a slumber party at an overnight camp? Well, we can call it that. But. <laughs> no, that would be amazing to go to. It's and fun. anybody can sign up to do it. Oh, yeah. And it's really for uh, beginners and amateurs. Uh-huh. Uh, women that aren't professional, that haven't really competed, maybe one show or two shows at the very max. But a lot of women come that don't think they really want to compete, and they just want to be in a group of setting where there's a lot of women that all want to be fit and healthy, and they want to learn. And then they end up feeling like I can compete, and you know, I want to try. Goes up. Yep. Yeah, from and, just doing that. Yep, because a lot of times they'll see someone else that wants to compete, and they may like, think, hey, well, I could do that. I could do that too. Yeah, yeah and then exactly. they learn all the tricks while they're there, and they go home and end up competing. Oh, well, one, okay, one random uh, last question for you. I see your hair thread today. It looks awesome. I love it. Last time I saw you was brunette. Before that, it was blonde. What's your favorite? Mm, I think right now, where it is now, I'm real happy with it. The red? I just got it done a few days ago. Last Saturday, actually. So I'm still sitting in with, do I like this or not? You know, kind of stop in the mirror like, oh, that's me. Is it me? Exactly. Yeah. But I'm it's happy. It's gorgeous. It's fun. Thank you. Well, thanks for talking to us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.